you see for me for a second I had a first when someone says favorite video game because I just can't like have so many favorites I always just default to Psychonauts because that's the one that I like love. So any favorite video game character that totally screwed my default answer. So because I like because I love all these characters too. But shoot, <laughs> I'm kind of stumped. Like I. I I actually want to, th that's because that's an answer I want to like, think about for a while, because like, GLaDOS is an incredible character. Uh, a lot of the Psychonauts characters are all, all awesome as well, that's why I love it. A lot of great Mass Effect characters, and great yes. Persona game characters. And yeah, I, that's one I have to think about for a while, so. Congratulations, you like completely stuff me. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right, no, well done. Uh, uh, I already answered the thing, you're talking to you. Okay. Um, this game yeah. Mm, good question. Okay, so the voice speeding up thing uh, was sort of okay. So as a lot of you guys who've been following us for a long time know, this whole series of weird things started out as me doing homework at uh, Savannah College of Art and Design. I had to do a 15 yep. I had to do a 15 page research thesis and a 10 minute oral presentation of it for a contemporary art history class. And since I didn't want to do just kind of the boring, like stuttery, awkward PowerPoint sort of thing that everyone else is probably going to do, I decided to do a little video styled after zero punctuation instead. And it was a lot more like zero punctuation there. So, but like I said, it had to be 10 minutes long. And I found out at the end that I had gone over time. And I was really tired at that point. So I just said, screw it. And I sped it up to fit 10 minutes exactly. <laughs> No, 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 you're yeah. good, you're good. And just even doing that, like, the Skype games, it was a blast. Those guys are fantastic. Absolutely. And they're here, by the way. Uh, if anybody doesn't know, in the uh, market area, the, all the Loading Bay Run guys are there, hanging out, you should all go talk to them, and say hi, and say thank you for the Desert Bus, because they raised, like, $350,000 in years. Told me I don't think that they're going to be here and here as well for this. So, so Grant and Paul are here. So, oh, can we come up on the stage? That'd be great. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. If anybody sees Grant and Paul come in, like shout, and we'll like make him come up here and be uncomfortable. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a great problem. <laughs> that thing is awesome. Oh, hold that up. That's really cool. <laughs> Three minutes, I'll be way more professional. <laughs> yes, nice. Uh, I don't know, anybody else? 
If you haven't noticed, there's like three guys like filming this right now. I told them to get in touch with us and we're gonna put it up or something. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Cool. Totally. So, uh, that's it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I, if I wasn't doing extra credits, I would still be doing exactly what I'm doing at Pixar Canada, which is animating. So, really, I still just do as much of extra credits as I can when I get home from work. So, uh, if I wasn't at Pixar Canada, I'd be able to pay way more attention to extra credits than I, than I currently do. But, uh, as it is, the, extra, the escape is picking us up for extra credits, and Pixar Canada picking me up for some reason happened like almost the exact same time. So, which is why uh, we brought Allison on board, because I told, because James said, hey, the escapist wants to pick us up to do a weekly thing, and I said, I just got a job, I can't do this every week. And so he said, I know a girl. And then he brought in Allison, who has been amazing. So, I wish she could be here too, but uh, she's somewhere overworking. Uh, yes? Uh, <laughs> I have no... Hey, there they are! Yeah. Thirty seconds ago, we hailed as conquering heroes for Desert Quest. Oh, cool! Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're just shooting this shit today, anyway. Yes. All right. Now we got. What's up? Um, since you work at uh, Pixar and everything else, any chance you can push ahead of in the Incredibles two or something like that? Oh yeah! Yeah. Yes. Yes. Can I say again? Can you push ahead The Incredibles 2 or something? <laughs> yes. uh, I was secretly deep down hoping that, like, all right, it's because Brad Bird, the director for The Incredibles, just directed the newest Mission Impossible movie, Ghost Protocol. I was hoping deep down that it would fail. <laughs> so that, like, he would have to come crawling back to Pixar and be amazing with us. But instead, he took a pretty decent script and made it look amazing. Mm. So he's. If he wants to keep doing live action, he is undoubtedly going to find more work, which is... <laughs> so I would love to see Incredibles 2, and a lot of people working, like, a lot of my co-workers would love to see Incredibles 2 as well. Because, mostly because they want to work on it. But, but yes, we're hopeful. What time is it? It's 6 o'clock. Hey, everybody, welcome to the Extra Credits Q&A. Since then, we've not been able to answer every email that came in. 
So, so we wanted to have some Q&A time, basically, where you guys could ask questions about the show, about the game industry, which people will be answering, or about anything, anything. It's basically what we've been doing in here up until it officially started. So, uh, yeah, so anybody who has a question, Ray, do what you're doing. Yes? Oh, it's bad. This is good. Did you miss it? <laughs> uh, uh, so, voice acting episode. So, How is that going? Um, so, there's been the main issue is we keep trying to get voice actors, and for various different reasons, every time we secure like one voice actor, and their schedules will match up, and then by the time that we get somebody else to do it, uh, the first person can't do it anymore because they're on some other projects, and uh, it's amazing that we have to. They have to sign off on the likenesses of themselves, and like you would be shocked what we have to do for uh, to interface with voice actors. Use uh, the mic, James. Ah, uh, you really want me to use my mic? Just shout. Hey, shout out. Hello, Eric. That's the move. Hey. Uh, all right, you're right. There are cameras. I guess I should use the mic. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Finally, decided to use the microphone. Uh, well, my other one is small. And, uh, <laughs> So, yeah, the voice acting actually has just been a coordination nightmare, and it's kind of also my fault because uh, a lot of what I do as far as the writing process goes is write about what's actually coming up in my uh, work or academic life at the time, either as a professor or as a professional game designer. And so every time I have to deal with voice actors, I start writing an episode and I let it slide by. It'll come, though, I promise. It's somewhere down the line. It is coming. I have a guy who emailed an agency people we're working through because we have to work through an agency because we're working with professionals now. So we, with the voice actors. So uh, I'm going to keep bugging the guy because every time I do, he like, says, oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to somebody and then I never hear from him again. So at, yeah, at various points, we've had some really awesome voice actors who are like apparently on board to do it, and hopefully they still are. And I'm hoping, yeah. So someday it'll be out. You guys should talk to John St. John. I'm pretty sure he'll do anything. <laughs> <laughs> also, wow. And he'll be on the air. Wow, well, that's going to be our. He's got a panel that's a voice actor, or I'm sure he's good at porn. Right on. Okay. Next question is raise them high. You raised your hand really high and enthusiastically. Um, just. Uh, yes, thank you. Hi, right. right, it's kind of an indus industry question. Um, recently, over the past couple of years, there have been a lot of sequels. I mean, there have been some original games, but there's been a lot of sequels. I'm just wondering if, like, your perspective on it, do you think that's a bad thing or not? That doesn't really matter, or like, what that s says about the industry. So I can start doing this one. Thank you. Guys. Wait, you think, yeah. No, I was just, I was just gonna, for the benefit of those who didn't hear, I was gonna repeat the question. Thank you. Oh, good. Oh, okay. yeah. Sequels is affecting uh, the game industry. How do you feel, sir? <laughs> as long as they don't suck, I'm okay with it. <laughs> so I'm actually going to dodge and give the reasoning right. Uh, as games get more and more expensive, uh, we want to mitigate risk more and more. And since sequels have brand value, since you can guarantee a certain amount of purchases, regardless on the title alone, you can get sequels. This is coupled with the uh, ballooning cost of developing new engine. Um, since we don't want to have to develop a new engine for every game, sequels often are a good way to justify using the same engine again, because it's going to give the same looking feel to your game, and that's a huge expense, and that's why uh, you have a big gap between game releases and now, and the latter half of this uh, console cycle, you're getting a lot of yearly productions because, well, they push the technology about as far as they can push it, so all I have to do is create content every year, and that's a much cheaper process. So that's sort of why we're getting sequels. As to um, what it does, to me, the only, the only thing I would read about it is it does, in some ways, not necessarily due to sequels particularly, but uh, the cost overall stifle innovation, and I would like to see some more experimentation on the AAA level um, because 